Scorpio. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. It's too early. <laughs> That's too many. Venus signs. Welcome to your welcome to another Scorpio love tarot reading. Scorpio love reading and as is very often the case here at the tarot closet, Scorpio love messages reading. Scorpio, I'm channeling for you in August 2023 and you can be here in August 2023, but you could also be here many months, even years later. All readings are timeless and meant for you when you get here. This is a faded connection. You are here when you're meant to be here, so welcome. Speaking of faded connections, the Four of Pentacles showing itself in the upright, the Sun in Capricorn, also the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody hasn't let you go, but they're working on, on untangling something in their life. Interesting. The Eight of Pentacles is the Sun in Virgo energy. Let's see if they're coming back, but we're already getting a, a peek into what is going on here today. Scorpio, down in the description, you'll find all the decks that are coming in, and you'll also find all the playlists, all zodiac signs, messages from your person, all signs, love tarot readings, and if you are on a twin flame journey, there are very long and in-depth twin flame readings as well. So feel free to, yeah, explore down in the description if you're inspired to do so. Remember, this is a general reading, so take what is for you and let the rest go. And Scorpio, I would like to take this time to invite you to like today's video. If you have not subscribed to the Tarot Closet, subscribe to the channel. This really helps keep the channel moving. So thank you so much for your support. Scorpio, let's see what is going on with you and your person. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. Aho. It's the Knight of Wands in reverse. Leo energy, also a very impulsive energy. What is going on in this connection? Because we see the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So this is telling us that this is a, well, it's a connection that's, that is in need of healing. For some of you, it might be a broken marriage or just a broken, you know, heartbreak energy. No contact and or in separation energy. Now, this is where your person's energy is the strongest, Scorpio. It's the Sun card today. That's Leo energy. It's also the source. God, Goddess, the universe, the divine spirit, also connecting to the crown chakra and finding a solution. And that's to get that outcome, this new cycle here. So it's the end of, I feel, either no contact, no communication, or and or I want to say separation. It's a renewal coming and we see that it might be out of nowhere. That's the Knight of Wands in reverse energy. And the King of Wands is showing that. That somebody here is getting the courage to come. Look, it's a fast energy. It's the fastest energy here with that wand. Look what's on it. It's the energy of love. It's leading with the heart. It's a rose. And of course, that is an urgent energy. You know, it's an energy of love and growth. It's an offer. This crow is a messenger. It's also rising above conflicting energies, connecting us to spirit, looking right at this eight. Look at that. And that's a number of action. It's accomplishing something that's also an infinity symbol. And of course, for some of you, that's your twin flame. It's not for everybody because that's also, well, it's about balance. It's about the truth, making a decision, infinite possibilities. It's connected to Libra too, by the way, that infinity symbol. So this is somebody who... Well, that you're separated from. For some of you, again, it might be even a legal separation or a divorce that's coming out of nowhere here. All right, because it is a new cycle, it's really clear. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. Aho. It's the King of Pentacles in reverse, it's the Five of Swords. The Three of Pentacles, 
the five of cups in reverse, the five of wands in reverse. I just saw this at the bottom and it said, take me. My gosh, look at this. This is crazy. <laughs> it's the page of wands I want to show you. What else is it showing us? The lover's card and it's falling off the deck. You guys, your reading today is kind of wild. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this is the moon and Taurus energy. It's opening up. It's communicating in a whole new way. That's what's coming in here. This is just one of these readings today already, Scorpio. Gemini energy, they love you. You love them too. Is somebody here coming? Yeah, you can see it. You can see you're also butting heads over something here. These obstacles that we see, look, the Page of Wands, also wanting to show itself. I'm feeling and I'm hearing that I need to put this here and reshuffle, but we're gonna look and send the messages through. This There's some immature energy here. So what's going on in this connection? This disconnection here is connecting, of course, in the partnership placement to the Five of Swords, Venus and Aquarius energy. So what was said? Something really hurtful, maybe lies. Also connecting us to the fifth chakra, of course, which is, well, the throat chakra, communication, truth, it's the sword energy, it's clarity, lack of clarity, somebody holding on to the two swords here. Look, somebody laying back here was really, really hurt. We see some obstacles are getting moved out of the way. It's the five of wands and it's coming in reverse. And these are some challenges, some obstacles telling us that these problems are gonna get resolved. It can't even be that somebody's just been really immature. And, you know, look what it's connecting with. The, it's the problems that caused the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. That disconnected this long-term commitment. Didn't maybe get you to where you were. Maybe you were working toward the Ten of Pentacles. Maybe you were there. Maybe it was on the table. This is working that out. It's solving the issues. Also with the King of Pentacles in reverse here. It's somebody who wasn't yeah, wasn't following through. The Four of Cups is coming in reverse. So this is seeing things, finding a new way to come in here. Has somebody blocked somebody? That's what I'm wondering too, because there is an energy that they're coming in, but it just might be an unexpected way. We see here with the Two of Wands that they're making this decision. It's what you've been waiting for. So you've been waiting to hear from your person. You're both still connected, but look at that. There's a lot of headbutting going on. There's some, yeah, there's some power struggles here. This person can be traveling physically to you. The Six of Pentacles here, the giving reciprocal energy. Look, it's not a Libra energy, but that those, those are the scales that's bringing in the truth. And you've been waiting for them to come. You're still connected. You still love each other. It can be that you've been waiting also for them to re-offer something here. That world is coming in. That can be your person coming in with a really big decision, life-changing decision. Maybe it's what's coming through with both of you because we see that also with the lover's card. This is Archangel Raphael, the angel for healing and fixing what's broken. Just wants everybody to be happy here. Communication coming through in the Three of Pentacles in the upright, Mars and Capricorn energy. So this is moving forward to communicate. It can be that it's in a message. The Five of Pentacles in reverse is more of that. This is coming back and this is healing energy, which we see is needed here. It's the Queen of Cups in reverse, the Cancer in energy. It's desperately needed. And it can be, yeah, that, this is a coming back and seeing each other energy, but it's coming back into the connection. This is somebody who I feel like they're, well, yeah, I feel like there's a lot of ego driven maybe decisions or even lack of communication here. The five of cups is coming in reverse and this is asking for forgiveness. This is healing and recovering. It's really very strong for me. I'm going to bring in some more because we see it necessary here in the Queen of Cups. And we see that you're not talking, but you're still connected. You still love each other. Yeah, I mean, the the only major arcana is here thus far. 
are the sun card and the lover's card telling us that you love each other and that there is an outcome here. Well, yeah, that is, it's the end of a cycle. So you're going to connect again in some way here. Twin flame energy, for some of you, we know that's the case, but also soulmate energy. And this is somebody who, well, yeah, might be coming in here with an offer. But this is telling us that it's problems are getting resolved. This is restoring harmony in this connection, Scorpio. Is that coming together? Yeah, there's a very strong union energy here coming through. It's a very deep love that is in need of deep healing. And that's the return here. We see that. It's really very, very strong. And they're asking for forgiveness. They're wanting to move past what happened, I feel like, and start something new. Let's see. The Page of Wands just flipped right over in the upright in our hands. Came back in right here with the Four of Wands. Yeah, so it's the page energy. It's getting this idea to come and talk. Look at that squawking. <laughs> Look at that leading right here with the heart on the energy of love. It's page energy. It's a messenger, you know, and it's an offer. It might be that they're just not sure, but look with that. Look what it's coming with. It's the four of wands. That's soulmate coming in. Look at the healing energy with the lotus. There's a friendship here too. That's really clear. And this is a homecoming energy. It's reunion energy. So it can be for some of you, it's coming. Look what's at the bottom of the deck that it's coming back into a, a dwelling together, you know, or city, state, country, but it's also the connection. You may even you might even be seeing each other, is what I wanted to say, because this can be around friends and families, you know, quite the celebration, but they're wanting, they know that they need to heal and they still love you, Scorpio, and it looks like things are getting resolved here, but there's something that really you need to communicate that because it comes through with the Five of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, like what happened here, you know? Also with the King of Pentacles in reverse, somebody might have some jealousy issues and maybe they're working those out. Oftentimes the Five of Wands can be about somebody who was playing games. Little immature energy here, we see that also with the Page of Wands. So it can be chronological years, it doesn't mean that it is. But these obstacles within I feel your person are really what's getting cleared here as well because they're just kind of coming out of nowhere with this Knight of Wands in reverse and this Four of Cups in reverse. That's the moon in Cancer and that puts the moon in reverse and that is the truth coming. That's clarity and the truth coming here. This is real clear. And the Eight of Wands also showing itself. Mercury and Sagittarius energy. So this is what they're thinking about. And it's, the me it's some kind of message I feel coming in. So it can be that a message is coming first and you see each other. Or maybe you see each other. There's a follow-up message. But it's coming in really fast and it's going to change everything. Mercury is oftentimes tied to reading and writing. So for some of you, maybe there's actually an opportunity of a handwritten letter, but that won't be for everybody. In that case, it's most likely, you know, social media or email, SMS, text message. And, and I feel like somebody also may have blocked somebody here. So there's finding another way in and it's kind of out of nowhere. You're still connected here. And this can be a life-changing decision coming in. That's the world card coming in here within the two. That's the world. It's small, but it's there. And that's completing what? What, what you were in? An offer here, uprighting the Ten of Pentacles, going back into it, beginning it again because it's life-changing. It's soulmate energy, but we also know that there have been a lot of obstacles. But, and you're not talking, but you're still loving each other and still in each other's energy. And they're trying, they're coming here with this rose. It's still there. <laughs> the King of Wands hasn't gone anywhere. Yeah, this is really clear for me. The divine, divine timing, communication, and growth here with the sunflowers. They connect with the sun. Look, there they are. Sunflowers do not grow with the sun. And this is the outcome here. So 
again, it's something you're going to be hearing about really soon. And maybe it comes in a message, maybe you see them. Maybe it's a message first and then you see them. But that's connecting us directly here with the sun and finding a solution. This problems that you have between you getting resolved. Healing this connection. And we see it also in the Five of Wands. Because you still love each other, Scorpio. Gemini energy, by the way. The Three of Cups in reverse wanted to show itself. Interesting. Is somebody here maybe partaking in a little bit of something? It can be. But I feel like that we're seeing this because it's the lack of communication, because we see that that's what's coming in here now. It's what they're thinking about, whether it's in a message again, or it's in person, or maybe it's even both. Okay, I want to bring in another deck. It's kind of like the sister deck, I want to say. It's in German. Doesn't really matter because, yeah, we'll see. What it is, and I'll tell you, of course, maybe there's some validation, some clarity. Whoa, coming through, that just landed right on my arm. Yeah, that's the message, my gosh. And I was gonna say maybe something we weren't expecting. Well, we were expecting that, weren't we? It's the Eight of Wands again. So this is happening, Scorpio. I, I really feel like whatever's happening, it's gonna change, it's gonna be, change everything. This is the action that they're taking here. Again, it's what they it, they want to communicate. And it can, it's strong that it's a message, but we also see that can lead to seeing each other. Or maybe it's both, or maybe you see them, but it's super clear. These two are also coming through. Okay, look, so now the Knight of Wands has come back. It's the spinner. Yeah, they're coming either way. It's just, it might be impulsive out of nowhere. Look, the page energy, the Knight of Wands in reverse, and now in the upright. This is more of that fast energy. Look, leading with the heart. Determined, guided by spirit here. I think this might be Archangel Raphael here. Yeah, because Archangel Raphael just wants to, everyone to be happy, wants to fix what's broken leading them on. They're really coming in. My gosh, are you looking at your reading? It's the Four of Wands now also coming here in the upright. This is a reunion. This is communication, and it's for sure communication, reunion, like messaging, you know, but it's likely for a lot of you that it's leading to in person or it just is in person. You can see that they're coming. It's extremely clear. My gosh, can, <laughs> here comes also the sun card again. Okay. They really love you and they really want this to, they really want to, <laughs> they really want this new start with you. They really want this to work. They really want this to work. They want to solve all these issues. This is somebody who wants to communicate and heal this connection. Look at this. The sun has come down twice, the four of wands twice, the eight of wands twice, the knight of wands is a spinner. Hi guys, gosh, I don't know when that ended. <laughs> I hope I didn't miss too much. Okay, I'm gonna do one last channeling and we're gonna bring in, I'm gonna move the energy. We're gonna bring in some channeled love messages. There's no clarity for me needed here. This is an offer coming in. This is somebody coming, <laughs> look at this. It's a really fast energy, Scorpio. They're coming in here to communicate. The thing about the Three of Pentacles, it's Mars and Capricorn energy, that if you don't, this is a collaborative energy. So look, and somebody almost looks like they have a little veil on their head. Mm -hmm. If you're not communicating, the crow here can't get the cherries and between the two of you to develop, you know, the, the connection. It's a collaborative energy to work on this, to get here to the fruits of your labor. So it's telling us that, well, yeah, in order for this healing to take place, we see here, it's really strong. What happened with the five of swords and the upright and the 10 of pentacles in reverse, that this will get resolved, but it needs to be through honest and healing loving communication, but there is an offer coming with it, with this rose and this lover's card. It is real clear, very strong soulmate energy. For some of you, your twin flame. Again, that's not for everybody, but it is here. 
Okay, so I'm looking at the bottom of the deck and also look what just was pulling out kind of in the middle. It's the chariot card. Scorpio, it's cancer energy. It's the moon energy too. It's opening up. It's communication. Look, it's rising above everything here. Maybe there was a tower moment. Rising above indecision. Look, at there's the victory wreath again. This is someone who really wants to win you over, I feel. And look what else is here. It's in German again. It's the king of swords. Gemini. Also Mercury energy. And that's the communication. Gemini is all about communication. Mercury. The planet of the mind. The planet of communication. They're communicating. They're moving forward. They're coming in here. With, they're opening up. They're changing everything. This is an action. It's a new, you know, it's like a new way of coming. And that's also here in the Four of Cups in reverse. So are they just going to come and knocking for some of you? Maybe you're going to see some of them. You might see them somewhere. And it's really highly likely that it's a message just popping up, you know, and maybe where you're not expecting it, especially if one of you or both of you have blocked each other <laughs> in certain on certain, you know, platforms, whatever. But Gemini and Mercury. And look at the feathers. There's five black feathers. And those are my signs of angels being in protective mode. And that's connecting us directly with the five of swords of what was said that was hurtful or what wasn't said. It's connecting us to the fifth chakra. They're below here. So they're kind of like, it's like almost like putting them down, you know, like it's not, it's like time to communicate about them. The King of Swords is looking right at the sword. Of course, that's transactional energy. It's clarity. This is really so extremely clear. Scorpio, they love you. They love you and they are coming. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Because this is one of those readings today. Okay, Scorpio, let's bring in some channeled love messages, messages from their higher self. It's so hard not being in contact. Yeah, that is, that is just really changing here. I'm getting it together so you can be mine. Look at their energy. <laughs> it's, I mean, this is all they're thinking about. Look at what they're thinking about. It's the Eight of Wands twice, the Four of Wands twice, the Sun twice, the Lover's card, the Chariot card. Communication here and the King of Swords. It's the Three of Pentacles. We know that you're not talking, but this is moving forward and it might be with a life-changing offer here. I'm getting it together so you can be mine. Because the thing about... Well, the thing about the lover's card as well, there's an, a, an energy of self-actualization. And this is somebody who's having some realizations about how they feel. This is coming into union. This is restoring harmony. And this is somebody who's preparing for a love offer. And it's really clear. You know I still want you. Okay, so they want wanted to <laughs> validate that, and we can already see it here. No one can hold a candle to you. I am captivated by you. You give me butterflies. Interesting the way these three came off. And my throat just got a little crackly. I want to grow old with you. Please know you are perfect to me. Please forgive me. My heart has never stopped beating for you. It's the lovers. Those three are yours and these are yours. Okay, that's it. I'm going to bring in some charms after Scorpio. I'm feeling charms today. And then we're going to close your reading. I don't deserve you, but I want you. <laughs> I just heard that it, the, yeah, the bottom of the deck wanted to show itself. So let's look at these three first. I'm so, I am so sorry. Thinking of you gets me through. My heart still beats for you. 
My heart has never stopped beating for you. Is this a conversation or are they reiterating that? Every time my phone vibrates, I hope to God it's you. I spy on you. <laughs> that's Gemini energy. That's the, that's the page of swords energy. Yeah, it's really super clear. And that sort of butting heads here in this, this two of wands today, you know, of like waiting for each other to write. And they're just going to, it's just going to come out of nowhere, maybe even seeing them out of nowhere. I'm going to put some, put my board down. We're going to do some charms and close your reading, Scorpio. As always, I don't look. Numbers and letters can also come through. Locations. Ages, birth dates, anniversaries. Wow. My gosh. <laughs> Look what's here off the bat. It's the infinity symbol. It's also an eight. It's the action number. It's the chariot card. It's the messages. There's a message coming here, I feel. Look, here's an L that just fell off. And again, reunion energy, strong reunion, offer, message, communication. It's, it's all here today. For some of you, again, that's your twin flame energy. But that's also the truth. It's balance. It's balancing out divine feminine, divine masculine energies. It's, yeah, it's the yin-yin energy. It's the life force. It's the truth. It's forever love. L-H, another L. Sometimes you can spell things. It, I, don't really see, doesn't seem like there's any vowels unless this O is a vowel. I don't think so. I guess it could be if you wanted, and that could also be an I. Look, it did just make a 10 though. And of course that is a new cycle and it's a renewal and it deduces into this one and that's the opportunity here. That's the potential that's still here and it's strong. 44, your angels are with you. I like that. Five, the truth. Rising above, conflict, the change. There's a lot of energy of change here. Here's an S too. Look at that as we say it. There's the butterfly. More messages that your angels are with you, but that's also the transformational energy. I'm going to put it kind of here, look, so we can see it. Oh, yeah. Wow, interesting. Somebody might be a police officer. It's handcuffs, but it also might be that... Yeah, kind of like, it's a little bit of double card energy here. So what's going on in that in that energy? It's kind of bringing in the Capricorn Saturn energy, which is actually really very connected to the lover's card. So what happened in this connection? There is, yeah, there's, we know that there's communication that's really needed here. There's the starfish. It's making things work that were not working. And that's also telling us there are infinite possibilities. So look at as I talked about that. There's the eight. There's the action number. It's also like another infinity symbol. There's a lot of Gaia energy around that as well. It's the ladybug. Yeah, this is... It's the ladybug. It's luck. It's change. There's little six little markings on it that's bringing in six. That's healing. That's restoring harmony. Look, it's a paw print. Loyalty. It's like, a, it's like bringing, bringing in, well, yeah, the loyalty when, when you see a dog. You know, there's instinctual energy as well. And it's in a heart. Hello. <laughs> I just caught the camera. It's the guitar. And there's a very strong musical connection between you some of you might be musicians, but it's also telling us it's making peace and it's restoring harmony. It's really strong in your reading today. You can see it everywhere. Scorpio, this feels really big. I'm going to hold up your charms. I don't think you can spell anything, but again, this 10, this 1 and this 0, it's also the full energy, by the way. It's like a clean slate. It's 
Aquarius energy. It's the fool's journey. It's the beginning. You know, it's Uranus. It's changing everything. It's starting over. It's it's like, well, yeah, it's a clean slate energy. But what I was going to say is if, you, if this was an I for you and that's an O, then that's what it is. You know, I don't know if it still spells anything. Maybe for some of you, Nick with an N-I-C. Oh, I see something that spells sin. Here's an O, you know, that can also be an O, of course. Anyway, I'm going to put them up here, but these are the numbers. But if you, if they resonate for you in spelling. Scorpio, it's been my honor to channel for you. This feels really big. Thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed today's reading, I would be so grateful if you liked today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you haven't. It really keeps the channel moving. So thank you so much. I'm sending you love and light on your journey, and I look forward to seeing you at another reading. Bye for now, Scorpio. 